you're at the beginning stages of a divorce or custody matter, sometimes the terminology used can be a little overwhelming. Today, I want to talk to you about some of the common terms used both in divorce and custody proceedings. I'm Carrie Jacobson with Jacobson Family Law, where we keep the drama out of your divorce. So to start, I'm going to talk about some common terms that may be used in either divorce or custody matters. The first is petitioner or plaintiff. This is the person who initiates a court action, whether it's a contested or an uncontested matter. It's the person filing the actual petition with the court. Alternatively, you have the respondent or the defendant. This is the person who receives the petition and has to file a response. This is going to be the person who files an answer or a response to the petition or complaint for divorce or custody. Some common terms that are related specifically to divorce matters. Alimony, also sometimes referred to as spousal support. This is the financial support that is paid from one spouse to the other, and that can be either temporary, rehabilitative, or permanent. And this, the purpose of alimony is to help that financially dependent spouse continue receiving and living at a standard that they were prior to divorce. The second term is property division. This is where your marital assets are divided between you and your spouse. It can also address issues such as the division of debts that you may have. And finally, there's dissolution. This is simply another term of for divorce. It's the termination of your legal marriage. Now to jump into some of the common custody terms. So the first is legal custody. That's who's authorized and empowered to make the important decisions related to your children. And those decisions typically are things related to medical care, schooling, religion, and long-term decisions, potentially like discipline. There can be different types of legal custody. The first is sole legal custody, which means one parent has the authority to make those decisions without the input of this other parent. There's joint legal custody that allows or requires both parents to make joint decisions together and then there's something called joint legal with tie-breaking authority. This requires parties and parents to have communications with one another to try to make a joint decision, but in the event they are unable to make a, a decision together, one parent would have the final tie-breaking authority between them. And sometimes this can be carved out, meaning one parent would be able to make decisions on medical care and other, the other parent may be able to make educational decisions, for example. Physical custody is another term that you may hear. I typically refer to this as the time sharing arrangement between parents. It's how often you and your co-parent have access with your children, whether that's on a day-to-day -day basis or also referring to um, vacation and holiday time. Finally, we have terms related to child support, which may come into play whether you have a divorce or a custody matter. And child support is the financial support that is paid from one parent to the other to help cover costs of raising your child or children. In Maryland, you, there are child support guidelines that are a specific calculation that takes into consideration lots of different um, pieces of information that will determine what the amount is going to be that one parent will pay to the other. Sometimes you might hear about arrears, and that's where there might be a backlog of child support payments that one parent owes to the other. And then finally, there's modification. There may be times throughout uh, the course of a child's life where either child support or custody needs to be modified. And so there might be a post decree or post court order modification that needs to happen if there's been a substantial change in circumstances since the prior court order. If you have any questions about any of these terms or would like to know more about how we can help you through your custody or divorce matter, contact us at that link below.